Welcome to IDI Distributors Technical Information Videos. I'm Chris Novogratz, Vice President of IDI Distributors, an American, family-owned and operated business. IDI's philosophy is we work for you by providing quality insulation products and equipment as well as technical expertise. If you're in the insulation business, we're good people to know. Our spray foam technicians are available seven days a week to assist you. If you need some help, give them a call. Graco Fusion AP Spray Gun, front end. For your safety, read and abide by all warnings as specified in your owner's manual. And remember to follow the correct pressure relief procedures before starting any work on your Fusion spray gun. For instructions, please see our additional videos. You will need the following toolkits to complete the procedure. Begin by removing the air cap from the fluid head. Inspect the air cap and use the appropriate size drill bit to carefully remove any buildup from the air passages. Blow out with compressed air. Next, remove the retaining ring by unscrewing it counterclockwise from the fluid head. Inspect and clean the O-ring inside the retaining ring. To remove the front end from the gun, unscrew the lock ring until the front end is loose. Then turn the fluid housing 1 8 turn counterclockwise. Unscrew lock ring completely and remove front end of gun. Pull out the side seal cartridges from the front end. Carefully using a tool may help with this. Remember, to prevent cross-contamination of side seal cartridges, do not interchange A component and B component parts. The A component cartridge is marked with an A. Remove both side seal cartridges and set aside. Using a 5 16 inch driver, remove the clean-off air valve. Inspect the O-ring. Next, pull the mix chamber out the rear of the fluid housing and inspect for damage. To prevent cross-contamination of the gun's wetted parts, the mix chamber is marked with an A and a notch on the back edge. When installing, be sure the A side of the mix chamber is on the A side of the gun. Clean the impingement ports with the appropriate size drill bit for your specific mix chamber as specified in the Fusion AP manual. Please note that some mix chambers have counterboard holes and require two drill sizes to clean both impingement ports completely. Clean the mixing chamber nozzle and blowout part with compressed air. Pry out the check valves at the notch. To prevent cross-contamination of the check valves, do not interchange A component and B component parts. The A component check valve is marked with an A. Remove both check valves and set aside. Inspect the fluid housing O-rings for damage and replace if necessary. Using a stiff brush, clean all ports and passages of the fluid housing. You will need several different sized brushes. The Graco number 15D 546 gun cleaning kit includes 11 tools and brushes for cleaning the gun. Use compressed air to blow out all passages frequently during this process as buildup may be pushed into interconnected, already cleared passages. Next, clean the side seal cartridges. To prevent cross-contamination, do not interchange A component and B component parts. The A component cartridge is marked with an A. To begin, carefully push out the side seal from the cartridge body and remove the inner spring. Inspect for damage, clean, and set aside. Clean the four ports of the cartridge body using a stiff brush to remove any buildup. Blow out passages with compressed air. There are two O-rings on the cartridge and one O-ring on the side seal. Use a small tool to carefully remove the O-rings from their slots on the cartridge body and side seal. Inspect the O-rings on the cartridge body for damage and replace if necessary. Check surfaces for any buildup and carefully clean, being sure not to scratch or nick the metal of the side seal or cartridge body. 
To reassemble the side seal cartridge, replace the O-rings on the cartridge body and side seal. Using Graco Fusion Grease, liberally lubricate the side seal O-ring. Replace the spring and reassemble. Press on the side seal to check proper spring operation. Liberally lubricate the remaining O-rings with Fusion Grease. Repeat this process with the second side seal cartridge. Remember to keep the A and B sides separate at all times to avoid cross-contamination. Next, disassemble the check valves. The A side check valve is marked with an A. As with the side seal cartridges, the check valves are separate A side and B side components. Slide the metal filter off the check valve. Clean and inspect the filter. Then carefully remove and thoroughly inspect both O-rings. Damaged check valve O-rings may result in external leakage. Replace O-rings if any damage is seen. Remove any buildup from the check valve housing if necessary, being careful not to scratch or mar the metal surfaces. Using a flat bladed screwdriver, remove the screw from the check valve and the inner spring. Inspect the screw and ball for any imperfections. Inspect and clean the interior valve housing if necessary, again being careful not to scratch or mar the metal surfaces. To reassemble the check valve, insert the ball and spring, then replace the screw using a flat blade screwdriver. The screw should be flush within 1 16th inch of the housing surface. Liberally lubricate both O-rings using fusion grease and replace the O-rings into their respective indentations in the check valve housing. Finally, replace the screen. After reassembly, press on the ball to test check valve for proper movement and spring action. Repeat this procedure with the second check valve. After the side seal cartridges and check valves have been cleaned, the front end can be reassembled. First, replace the air cleanoff valve. Using a 5 16 driver, turn the valve until snug. Then, back it off one quarter turn to ensure proper operation. Apply thin coat of fusion grease lubricant to the mix chamber. Install the mix chamber and rotate 1 8 turn to secure. The etched A side and notch must be on the same side as the A marking on the fluid housing as the mix chamber is keyed to fit in the fluid housing. Replace the fluid head by carefully sliding it over the mix chamber and turning the locking ring clockwise to tighten it. Remember to never reinstall the fluid head onto the handle unless the handle and cylinder assembly has been cleaned properly. Replace the side seal cartridges, noting the marked A side. Insert the appropriate cartridge into each port. Next, replace the check valves, also noting the marked A side. Insert the appropriate valve into each port. Lubricate all threads and reinstall retaining ring onto the front of the gun. Ensure the side seal cartridges are fully seated. Finish by reinstalling the air cap, screwing it in until snug. This completes the maintenance procedure for the front end of the Graco Fusion AP spray gun. Thanks for watching.